California's statute mimics the New York statute that we upheld in a case called Ginsburg versus New York. That statute prohibited the sale to minors of sexual material that did not meet our definition of obscenity, but that, quote, appeals to the prurient, shameful, or morbid interest of minors is patently offensive to prevailing standards in the adult community as a whole with respect to what is suitable for minors and is utterly without redeeming social importance for minors, close quote. We held that New York could, quote, adjust the definition of obscenity to social realities by permitting the appeal of this type of material to be assessed in terms of the sexual interests of minors, close quote. The California Act, however, does not regulate obscenity for children. Our cases make clear that obscenity covers only depictions of sexual conduct, and we have previously rejected attempts to shoehorn violence into the category of obscenity. Thus, this law does not adjust the boundaries of an existing category of unprotected speech to ensure that a definition designed for adults is not uncritically applied to children. Instead, it purports to create a wholly new category of content-based regulation that is permissible only for speech directed at children. That is unprecedented and mistaken. Our cases hold that minors are entitled to a significant degree of First Amendment protection. Government has no free-floating power to restrict the ideas to which they may be exposed. There is no tradition in this country of specially restricting children's access to depictions of violence. Certainly the books we give children to read or read to them when they are younger have no shortage of gore. Grimm's fairy tales, for example, are grim indeed. As her just desserts for trying to poison Snow White, the wicked queen is made to dance in red-hot slippers, quote, till she fell dead on the floor, close quote. Cinderella's evil stepsisters have their eyes pecked out by doves, and Hansel and Gretel kill their captor by baking her in an oven. High school reading lists are full of similar fare. Homer's Odysseus binds, blinds the Cyclops by grinding out his eye with a heated stake. And Golding's Lord of the Flies recounts how a schoolboy is savagely murdered by other children uh, while marooned on an island. In truth, the California Act is the latest in a long series of failed attempts to censor violent entertainment for minors. Before video games came cheap novels depicting crime. They were called penny dreadfuls. Motion pictures, comic books, television, and music lyrics, all of which were blamed by some for juvenile delinquency.